Campaign signs are up all across El Paso County as candidates for school boards vie for seats in this November election. And some school administrators believe politics are deeply influencing what should be nonpartisan seats. In this special report, KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is tracking the campaign money and a new law that aims to curb how much can be donated in school board races. I call you to resign. You are toxic to this district. I'm that I Across El Paso County, the spotlight on school boards continues to shine. We have every right to know what's taking place inside of our schools. If you see objectionable material, go to the teacher or librarian. Topics like gender and sexuality, book bans, and critical race theory are dominating public comment in board meetings. I'm kind of old-fashioned. I, I, I know a boy when I see one, and I know a girl when I see one. <laughs> And over in District 11, Superintendent Michael Gall restructured school board meetings to limit political disruptions. Now they start meetings highlighting achievements at their schools. Politics are politics. They're always going to be there. But it's very hard for people to come in and start protesting their personal belief when they're on the backside of student success. Following the money in these elections, we track the campaign contributions in every El Paso County school district from the 2017 school board races to now. From 2017 to 2019, campaign contributions countywide increased by nearly 40%, increasing by $26,125.58. And then a massive jump in 2021, with campaign contributions going from $91,441.70 to $260. $63,850.45. That's 188% higher than the previous election. In 2019, $19,516 were contributed to D20 school board races. But in 2021, campaign contributions hit $91,000, an increase of 366%. Well, I think D20 parent oh, Jen LaRue that. says two years ago, some parents started noticing campaign donations pouring in from donors they couldn't trace. Whereas 10 years ago, it really seems as though it wasn't a political seat. Now, people are trying to put politics into the schools, and that's not good for anybody. In 2021, a group called Springs Opportunity Fund pumped nearly $200,000 into El Paso County school board races. That money was then used repeatedly over the next few weeks to purchase mailers and digital advertising for trios of candidates in districts 11, 20, and 49 and all nine of the candidates in those three districts who were backed financially by Colorado Springs Forward were elected in 2021. We've seen a massive influx of uh, campaign cash coming into those races, um, often from out of the district, often from out of state. Nick Henriksen is a Democratic senator out of Pueblo. He voted for a new law to address the influx of dark money into school board races. A single person cannot contribute more than $2,500 to a school board candidate now, and contributions from small donor groups are capped at $25,000. It exists to provide checks and balances and accountability of a school administration. Some politicians, like Republican Senator Bob Gardner, believe the law is well-intentioned but wrong-headed. The so-called reform uh, doesn't stop the contributions. It simply drives them away from the candidate and under the radar. Gardner says the new law poses a free speech issue because constitutionally, all Americans are allowed to advocate for their ideas. These limitations and uh, complex rules about what expenditures go where and how they must be reported um, are very burdensome to people and really discourages people from running for office. Campaign contributions countywide for the 2023 election currently sit at $185,000. That's about $80,000 less than the total in 2021. Now on November 7th, we'll see just how much influence money may have had on these school board races. Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13.